Hi, my name is Richard Duffy. I am the Acumatica Product Evangelist. I am also the Vice President of Partner Enablement and Partner Strategy here at Acumatica. On behalf of all of us at Acumatica and our partners all around the world, I'd like to thank you for taking time to watch this short demonstration of Acumatica. What I'm going to do is just show you quickly um, how you can get into the Acumatica application, give you a little bit of a tour around show you some of the core functionality that's available in the application, but we're not going to go into a huge amount of detail. Of course, on the same website that you're accessing this material from right now, or if you receive this video embedded in an email from one of our partners or from somebody at Acumatica, there's also a link where you can go and access more detailed and in-depth demonstrations. So with that, let's get started. So the first thing you need to know about Acumatica, of course, is that Acumatica is fully web-based. So that means the only software that you need to access Acumatica is a web browser. So I'm starting off here, for example, on our Acumatica.com website. Now if I go in, for example, and I look here at my products section, and then I dive across here into my Acumatica demonstrations, which you can do at any time, one of the things that you'll find is that we have a demonstration video which you can watch, which is not dissimilar to this one, going into a lot more detail, however. But you'll also see that there is an option here to try Acumatica now. So that will open up a new web browser session for you and will take you to www.tryacumatica.com. So if I click on that right now, there you see it. it takes me into that URL, www.tryacumatica.com. Now you can go ahead and you can try this for yourself, and that's one of the reasons why we kept these usernames and passwords very, very simple. So you can log in as admin, and the password is 123. Then I'll click on the login button, and that's where the magic happens, and it brings me straight into my main Acumatica screen. So again, if you know how to drive a web browser, you'll know how to drive Acumatica. It is designed to be as simple and as quick and easy to use as possible. Acumatica supports the concept of roles as well. So whether you're a salesperson, whether you're a sales manager, maybe you're a CFO, maybe you're the chief executive officer or the owner of the business, you can configure Acumatica to meet your specific requirements and show you the functionality you need to perform your job. Now, one of the things we've done when you first come into Acumatica, it brings you into dashboards. And you can see we've got a number of these different dashboards here according to those different roles. Sales manager, sales tasks, shipping, the controllers dashboard, for example, uh, a CRM dashboard. And all I have to do is click on each one of those dashboards and it will take me into that functionality. The beauty of the dashboards is that they really do make it easy for you to look at the key performance indicators that you've determined are important to your business. So for example, as a financial controller, I'm interested in looking after the accounts payable. I also want to see some information about my accounts receivable. I might also have to manage my fixed assets and I might also have to manage the cash that's in the organization. So they're the things that I've set up in my dashboard, but of course, the beauty of the dashboards is that they are completely user-definable and you have total control over those dashboards. Let's look at another one. Let's take a quick look at our sales tasks, for example. If I look at the sales tasks dashboard, I can now see here's some of the tasks that I've got that I have to complete. Here's some sales opportunities that I've got that I'm working on. I've got new leads that have come in and they can come in off my website, maybe entered in by one of my telesales people, whatever the case may be. So we give you a really simple way to navigate around the system. You can go directly to the transaction or what you can do is you can jump specifically to the business process, like enter a sales lead or import leads or enter a sales order. Now when you're navigating through Acumatica as well, you can navigate around using the menus up the top or you can use this navigation panel at the side. The beauty of Acumatica is that it is completely touch screen enabled as well. You'll see all the buttons are very, very big. Um, so I'm using a touch screen here. So again, I'll take my hand off the mouse here. Just with my finger, for example, I can tap here on the chevron and that then closes down that navigation panel on the side and maximizes my screen view. Again, one tap again on that chevron on the side and it opens up my navigation panel for me again. So the reason why I'm showing you that Imagine you're using an iPad, imagine you're using a Galaxy Tab, whatever your device of choice is. As long as it has an internet connection and a web browser built into it, then you can use it with Acumatica. 
Okay. One other thing I'll show you with Acumatica as well from a user interface perspective. I'm going to keep using my finger just for, for now. Um, I can, for example, I can go into distribution. So I just tap on distribution. I want to go to sales orders. So I tap on sales orders. And then I want to go and start entering in a sales order. Well, what will you see here? The sales order screen, by its very nature, because um, the Acumatica software is so functionally complete, our out-of-the-box demo set you know, actually has quite a lot of information available. So if you look along the bottom, you can see we have a number of these tabs. Now imagine you're using a different uh, device and you want to change screen size. Well, all I have to do is I can come in here and as the screen size changes, what you'll notice will happen is that those buttons all automatically move around. Okay, I can move all that header information up and these tabs, as my screen size changes, they automatically move in underneath this chevron. That's what we call responsive design. A couple of other things as well. When you've been doing your sales order and you're starting to put in your documents and you want to create your new order, so let's go ahead and we'll put that detail in. First thing I need to do, I need to start off and put in a customer. So I'll choose the New York International Beauty School and I'm going to put in an order for them. So I go down here and I start entering my items. I can look up my inventory, there it is, here is my grid, anywhere where you see a grid, whether it's in this lookup screen, and I'll pick my Acer laptop computer, that's now in there, whether it's in the grid up there or it's in the grid down here, you can customise this the same way you would an Excel spreadsheet, simply by moving these fields backwards and forwards. It makes it very, very easy for you to access, very easy for you to customise the software exactly the way that you want it. Okay, so then I continue putting in the items that I want and then when I'm ready I just basically hit the, sa the save button and my sales order is committed. I can now take that sales order, turn it into a picking slip, turn it into an invoice, ship it out. I can email out a copy of the um, order to my customer. I can email um, a formatted document that's specifically designed to be used as a sales quote or a, a better looking sales order because these days many people, the, the way that your company is represented in your printed documentation is equally as important as everything else you do from a marketing perspective. I can go in and I can create a purchase order that's then linked to this sales order. So even if I had the stock, maybe I'm selling this on a special price and I need to place the order with my supplier in order to get this special discount, well I can go and manage all that. So you can see a whole range of that functionality that's available here. So that's a little bit of a look in the navigation. Now, one other thing I want to show you, getting data in is really important, but getting data out is equally as important. Everywhere in Acumatica, you'll see we have this ability to come in here and do our reports. All you need to do is come across here in the navigation panel and select reports. So let's say, for example, I wanted to see all my sales orders and quotes. Well, I just select my sales orders and quotes report, and there it is. There's the list of all of my sales orders and quotes. Now, maybe you're like me, you walk around with a sign above your head saying spreadsheets are my life. Well, if that's the case, you can take any one of these screens, any one of these fields, forms, the data, you can just click on the export to Excel button. And what's it going to do? It's basically working away in the background and it's preparing that data. You can see our little progress indicator is moving here. And then I'm going to get a screen pop which is going to say, OK, do you want to open the spreadsheet or save it? Well, I'm going to open it, runs a security scan, opens up Microsoft Excel for me. There's my Excel and there is all that data that's in that same report, all available for me in Microsoft Excel. Now I can click on there and say enable editing. Now here's one of the other things, because Acumatica is completely web-based, we use what's called web services. This gives you the ability to link from Microsoft Excel directly to the back-end data in Acumatica. What do I mean by that? I get a little security warning telling me, hey, you have to enable this function if you want it, so I'm going to enable it. Now, imagine I've taken a copy of this spreadsheet, got it on my laptop. I've now traveled five hours across the other side of the country. Before I go into my customer, I want to make sure I've got the very latest information. Now I could go into Acumatica again and generate the spreadsheet again, but that's a bit of a waste of time. With Acumatica, because we are 100% web-based and built on these web services standards, all I do is I go up here to data, 
I go across here and I say um, refresh and then what happens? It refreshes the data in my spreadsheet. Security is critical. So again, it asks me, log in, admin, password, you recall, one, two, three. Now I say, okay. So now Microsoft Excel is talking to my Acumatica server over the internet. It's refreshing the data and updating it. You probably saw just a little flash on the screen there. It's updating the data. So any new orders that had come in, any orders that were now completed, I had the very latest snapshot of all that information. Even if I'm sitting there with my customer and I want to get an updated view, if I've got my iPhone, I've got it tethered, or I've got access to Wi-Fi, same thing. Just go in, click on the refresh data, and it's immediately updated. I even do this just as an example when I'm sitting on the airplane. Okay, We've got the GoGo in-flight internet service. Um, I'm based out of Seattle, so I fly with Alaskan. Uh, and I can basically access all of my Acumatica system on board the plane and have that internet access. So again, that's the power of the web-based uh, user interface, the web-based technology that Acumatica is built on. So that's it. I wanted to give you a quick overview, a quick snapshot, and a quick look at Acumatica. Remember, more videos available for you to try the software, to see the software in action, and of course you can go to www.tryacumatica.com and see the software for yourself. If you've got questions, click on the Ask a Question button, and if you hover over this video right now, you'll see there is an option for you to share this with other colleagues, to ask a question directly, and that'll come through to me, or if you've accessed this from one of our partner sites, then the question will go through to the partner, and they'll be more than happy to talk with you more about how you can use Acumatica to help you unlock your business potential. Thanks very much.